Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Lunch Money. I'm your host, Gina Savage, talent booker, producer, actress, whatever. Joined with comedian Christy Miller. We're your new noon. Here we are. Yay! <laughs> Monday. We and are. You know what that means? Everything sucks. <laughs> That and the best is yet to come. <laughs> never fails. Never, never, gets, never old. gets old. Nope. Well, I would like to say we call the... that dress you have on, you look fantastic. And I think we need to be called the nude noon. Oh, grrr. You know, I, I thought I've worn this before, actually, f- for the show. I thought I did. I don't think but, so. uh, you know, I'm trying try to keep it fresh, but, you know, I, at this point, we're kind of the new noon, but it's, you know, we're on, what is this, episode 27, 27, 25, <laughs> 25. I mean, I don't have, I don't know how many things I have in the closet at this point. Well, you I know? just gave you a whole or wardrobe. What I'm keeping so, you, in the- so you have about three more weeks left of clothes. <laughs> let me just, let me show the kids. I, I actually have one of the garments right in front of me. <laughs> and then we'll. I do. I do. It's this one. I really like very much. I can't wait to wear it. Let me just make sure that it's not inside out. Wait, 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 wait. Inside out Oops. and round and round. Hey, okay. So it's invisible. Okay, oh, oh there yeah. We go. I it's love the that dress. Sparkly yes. One. Mm. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. It's uh, I can't wait. It's not very, it's like, look, I know I'm very, um, you know, with the decolletage, I'm very Fox News right now because apparently you have to be gorgeous. Not that I'm that, but like you have to have, you're showing stuff. You're not telling the news. You just let's, let's divert their attention with our body. You, no you disrespect have, to the Fox yeah. oh, News the, journalists. Oh, fuck that. I'm disrespecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Listen, I'm they in all, a Twitter they're, war. All, yeah. they're all giving you Sharon Stone basic instinct. You know, I'm waiting for a bitch Seriously. to open her legs and then her flappy, <laughs> her sea anemone pops out of her skirt and then hails the whole uh, studio. <laughs> Wait, you're in a Twitter war? Um, Did I hear I, you right? I, I'm not in a Twitter war. I make it up. <laughs> I'm not in a Twitter war. I, I make it up. I make it up. <laughs> I make a lot of things up. A lot I wish of I had enough I followers. Up. I wish I had enough followers to have a Twitter war. Hey, you have three, sweetie. <laughs> and the multiple personalities you got in your head are all of them. We were talking before the show about um, about uh, how many followers and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and how many people listen. And we were having technical difficulties. And I'm like, let's just record the show for like 20 minutes. People, people bail after 10, you know, so we don't have to go. We don't have to be all lengthy. All lengthy and stuff, you know, like do a whole show with a vocal. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. I don't trust it now, honestly. But um, I trust I'm not no trying one. to. Yeah, no one. <laughs> if he dies, he I dies. Was, <laughs> well, one of the things I noticed that you've been doing is you brought back um, this, this, these clips that I love oh, with oh. you and Teddy. Oh, yeah. I love those. I love yeah yeah the teddy smith teddy smith my writing partner my best friend my brother from another mother we do these clips you could go on my instagram page and tiktok or wherever anywhere that you know videos are sold <laughs> and uh <laughs> they're called no and it's like you know whatever like teddy's on stage because i'm going to tell you uh, uh i'm going to tell you this really funny story right it's going to be great and i walk by the stage no no right so here i'm gonna i'm gonna set you up for saying exactly that okay okay okay. um so uh there's a lot of things that happened in politics over the last week would you like us to discuss them no (laughs) (laughs) okay okay do it again do it again not going (laughs) okay do it again do it okay ready same question same question yes okay um there were a lot of things that happened in politics this week. Would you like me to discuss them? No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I know. I know. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, one of the things we talked about. Yeah, go ahead. 
Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, what's mm-hmm. your mug of the day? Did you, uh, do you have your muggy? Mm-hmm. Your mug of choice? <gasps> Badass. Hey, I'm, mine should say fat ass. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> shout out to Claudia. I went to the, <laughs> shout out to Claudia. Yeah, I, I went to the doctor. I was telling you, uh, you know, let the kids catch up. Uh, I I don't think I have the diabetes. The okay? diabetes. And diabetes. I don't have the diabetes. The diabetes. My blood, uh, <laughs> I don't think I have it. My blood uh, sugar, I'm so fat. My blood type's ragu. Hey! <laughs> Last week, it could have been. My blood pressure was 142 over 113. And they were like, oh. you need to talk. You need to talk to somebody. And I was like, are you sure that the half a pot of coffee and the fact that I literally jogged over here didn't like push that up a notch? That was when I was in New York. Of course, my blood pressure went up. I took it here in Florida, it was 124 over 82. Totally acceptable. Or is it not? Very. (laughs) No. (laughs) I was waiting for no. I was waiting for no. I was slow. Sorry. I'm slow. (laughs) Slow on Monday. Who would have thought on Monday? Where are you, new noon? And we need sponsors. Did we start our Patreon yet? Uh, I know you're working on that. I'm working on it. It's a... uh it'll it'll be set up i set up the the web page now i just gotta figure out how to i put videos on the website to, to have a url mm-hmm. to, to put so we can put bonus content on there and uh <laughs> i can't <laughs> I, no there's, there's nowhere to i don't know where to put i i don't know so i called some people to help me and they haven't called me back precisely that's what we've we discovered no. last week <laughs> <laughs> That's what this episode. We got the name of the episode. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Can you help this, me? No. 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 <laughs> no. All right. So that brings me to. I was telling you before right. the show that like I have this thing where like I don't want to be assaulted from the minute I get up. So last week I woke up. It was like 10 a.m., which is early for me. And by 11 a.m., so I woke up at 10. By 11 a.m., I owed $500. That's an assault. Okay. It's an assault. So <laughs> it's an assault. Okay. Yeah. I just woke up $500. Okay. In these times, not cool. It's an assault. You're assaulting me. I get that my disposal, garbage disposal is broken. I get that my contract expired, but you know, work with me here. 500. And pe- I'm going to get, we're going to get callers. Uh, Call, are you there? Callers. Caller. Is that an assault or a pepper? Hey. <laughs> an assault listen i know you can you can fix it yourself you can fix it yourself for like 70 dollars. it's just i have to get the contract again with the people that service it before they'll fix it and because i told them it's a whole long story ending in the words no no (laughs) it should you should have went with geico (laughs) where was flo when you needed her (laughs) you know this adulting bullshit is just that it's bullshit it's It's all bullshit i'm being assaulted i'm assaulted with an ugly weapon (laughs) assaulted with adulthood and the calls even if somebody will call me at nine o'clock with their freaking whatever's going on with them i don't do that it's 9 a.m by 902 i don't want to hate you yeah i like my favorite i had one this morning the phone rang and I usually have on do not disturb, but I had a shitty night of sleep. So I went back to sleep and they called and went, uh, I thought your phone would be off. Why are you answering? Why are you calling? If you didn't think I was going to answer mm-hmm. what you call during business hours, like seriously, you have to call me when I'm asleep. Oh, I didn't know your phone would be on. Are you kidding? <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 years ago <laughs> years ago they had i don't know if they still have it they had this thing called slide dial do you remember this thing mm-hmm. where you could it would it would sort of go over like if you called let's say you were in our in my friend's case we were always trying to leave messages for dudes by the way i keep get, falling into the green the screen phone. and i'm gonna like topple over any second <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. My disposal and the bullshit that's all screwed up is back behind that. Yeah. I, yeah, I have so, to do my dishes in the sink is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's okay. not all glamour. It's not all glamour. It's not so, all purple uh, seats slide and, dial. Okay. Slide oh, dial. No, purple, purple seats and good times over here. <laughs> <laughs> slide dial was this thing where if you, let's say in our, in my friend, in, in my case, you'd want to leave a message for a guy. Let's say he didn't call you and you wanted to be all mad. You want to leave a message, but you didn't want to actually pick up the phone. You could slide dial up in his shiz, right? And leave a message. So you, and then he'd probably look at it and go, I didn't see this message. And then you'd have this message like, you told me you were going to be blah, blah, or whatever, back when that came out. And I was pissed. Yes, about whatever uh and it worked it was really a great thing and i don't know if it's still going on but um you know what we do you know, you know what we do with that slide dial is what i'm trying well, to say when you want to leave that message you know how you I, I do that schumers yeah uh oh just text what do we do <laughs> no no yeah facebook text and bail yeah voice memo bail yeah. dude out deuces cuss them out on a voice record text, text. Or just do a anyway, Facebook, or just do a Instagram live and roast them. Yeah, <laughs> just that's right. You can just go right to it now. Yep. I guess. No. No. Oh, oh my God. No. no. Well, I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time. I didn't get to charge up enough. So we're gonna uh -oh. we're gonna be Let's brief. Let's talk about the topics at hand. All Let's right. Let's do this thing. What do we Worst have? case scenario is I unplug the head. Worst, well, just worst case scenario, I un I unplug the headset and charge because I don't want to lose us while we're on a on a right. on a roll. Roll. Okay, so worst case, right? Okay. Worst case scenario. All right. Um, George is messed up. Yep. And the only reason I bring that up is because of what's going on voting wise. I'm not going to bring this. Up. It leads to basically what happened there in the Asian community and yeah. the voting, blah, blah. But mostly yeah. now, um, and it's all heinous, yeah. but uh, you know, it affects our Asian community who we, we love. We yeah. love and our, our comics that we know and, and particularly, I don't know, Margaret Cho, but there was an article about Margaret Cho, you know, and what's going yeah. on with her and how she feels. And what are your thoughts on it? Um, uh, I'm with her. Uh, I know she's scared, because why wouldn't you? Because you know, to racist white people, all Asians look alike. And she's a very notable character. I know that was really horrible to say, but it's true. That's how they think. And she's a very high profile Asian woman for the last, what, 20, 30 years. And they all hate her anyway, because she is so outspoken and doesn't give a fuck. I would not be surprised if she was scared. But what I think she should do is be like, the old lady in San Francisco, crouchy tiger, hidden grandma. That bitch fucked that dude up so bad. <laughs> she yeah. sent him to the hospital. I was like, yes, G. Yes. So, yes. Margaret, if you're listening, mama, hire her as your bodyguard. Because if you don't, I am. Because <laughs> that yeah. bitch is fierce. <laughs> she is fierce. She's fierce. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, uh, I agree with you. We need you know? more of that. We need more retaliation instantly on these streets. Like if someone comes at you on the street, you hit them back, you fuck them up. Just fucking unload on them. Don't, don't worry about getting arrested because you won't. Well, the, the key is uh, you, have to, you have to make the first move. You see somebody coming and they're coming for you. You just, you don't wait. Your instincts are correct. Yeah. Just go for it. Just yeah. go for it. It's that your life. Fuck it. Recently. Yeah. yeah, having a friend friend recently, there's some crazy person on the subway or in the street. I forget what it was. And my friend was able to judge that it was not going to be good and flatten this mofo out. And, uh, you know, people don't expect that. But nope. it, it would have been if had it been reverse, he would not, you know, be able to talk about it. You know, so he well, assessed it accurately. Well, look at the two yeah. times I got the first time I didn't see coming. Cause I didn't want to be judgmental mm -hmm. and this is a big key. I didn't want to judge that dude on the train for the way he looked because everybody has a right, but the fucking dude, you know, psyched, you know, sucker punched me and ran off right. the train at the stop. And then the second time during the summer, during the heat of the pandemic, that dude was I could see him coming. I'm like, this is not good. 
I don't trust this guy. And sure enough, mm -hmm. he came running up and I watched him the whole time. I kept my eye on him and I wouldn't let him get behind me. And he tried to sucker punch me in the face. So I saw it coming and I blocked him. So, and then there was a mm -hmm. huge, you know, big thing broke out, but you know, you got be aware and don't fucking apologize for shit. If mm -hmm. your gut instinct will never steer you wrong ever. Fuck people. Fuck, fuck everybody. Everybody at crazy. this point, everybody's out for themselves at this point. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, right. Yep. It's and bad. The answer to everything is no. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I punch you in the face? No. No. Punch <laughs> them in the face first. Mm -hmm. um, I have this thing where, um, where, if I sense a problem, I just start acting nuts. I start talking to myself. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I start acting crazy, like yeah. insane. Yeah. I act crazier than they do. I just yeah. do. Yeah. I'm in the subway just going, I can't, or I'll, I'll grab my phone out and act like I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> like, I can't motherfucking believe motherfuckers, motherfuckers. Everything is motherfuckers. Yeah. When I'm, you know, like in danger, <laughs> danger, danger. Danger, Rob Robinson. Robinson. Danger. danger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just start acting crazy. Uh, so that's always a good technique too. Oh, absolutely. Um, fucking yeah. yeah. But uh, we wish Margaret the best. She's uh, nominated for like a, a best animated film uh, for Netflix. Aww. And that's pretty good. And she's got a podcast coming out on. Um, and look, she didn't even, you know, ask us to promote. And here we are right? supporting women. Go women figure, supporting right? women. As long as she's not Mondays at noon, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah, because people are vying for the 10 minutes that people actually <laughs> listen. To. Sponsors, please. Sponsors. Hello. People get sponsors all the time and their shit is not even nearly this quality, despite our technical difficulties. Uh, I don't care what, you know, I'm just, you I'm get, done. Okay. You get more sponsors uh, than AA. Hey. <laughs> well, wait a minute now. I have quite a few. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, wait a so second, yeah, that's her, uh, wait a second, son. Uh, I, I love how I imitate you doing your thing. And then I'm, okay. um, yeah, just cat. I'm just gonna piggyback off your laughs. Um, you know, all right. So four one, <laughs> April first, Margaret Cho, um, the Margaret Cho in uh, mortal my uh, mortal minority is her podcast or whatever. So right. good luck with that. Also, our, our, well, my friend, I haven't talked to him. He may not even consider me a friend. He may be like, of oh, that girl from that time. But Kevin Brennan uh, has a YouTube thing. I don't know what to call him. <laughs> no, good for him. Yeah. No, right? it is good but for seriously, him. Seriously, like, it's, it's good for him. Let him get, you know, some kind of the recognition he deserves is Dude, what Kevin I'm saying. To me, Kevin Brennan is my eye on the subway getting knocked out. Like he's constantly getting beat up on and knocked the fuck. Like everybody <laughs> hates him. And it's like, I don't know him. I don't run in that crew. Right. Um, but the way people bash but, him and go after him about his brother versus I, him, I, like Neil's the good guy and Kevin's the bad guy. It's hilarious to me. Um, you know, I was uh, very young when I, uh, uh, young, I was like in my early thirties when I met Kevin and I, uh, you know, I wasn't exactly, you know, the, the brightest bulb or the sharpest tool in the shed. And I was newly sober too. And I was acting out right, in a lot of, of ways, but Kevin right. was nothing, but Kevin was nothing but nice to me. And through the years, he's been nothing but nice to me. So, you know, um, you know, in, in the time when I was at Westside, we were just finally getting him in before right. COVID and my right my my whatever your vacation <laughs> but you know i wish him the best whatever my yeah. vac <laughs> vac vacation hey. from reality hey fuck no. reality and, and common sense we're getting the fuck out of here sweetie <laughs> eight ball in the corner pocket anyway yeah i love the eight ball in the corner pocket it's but that great, just does not get reference. old for me no. it's great <laughs> it, it really is and totally accurate um so yeah so you know what i think kevin on that you know what i yeah. think kevin should do and as much as they hate each other and i think it'd be hilarious just because the people that are fans of theirs would go just for it they should him and his brother should do like a good cop bad cop tour or i or an i fucking hate your guts tour and they should do like co-headline it just the two of them and at the end they could come out and have a mediator and they could just fucking yell at each other you know and then like whatever that it, would they, be uh 
right? It would sell tickets. Right. Or just get a sitcom going already and they can and Kevin could be, you know, his grumpy self. And then Neil Angry. could be whatever Neil is. Neil and could be the anyway, whatever. Neil whatever. Like, I don't, you know, like Neil looks like a before I follow, picture. <laughs> yeah. Neil looks like one of those old gay guys from like that came out in the 70s in his heyday, and now he lives in West Hollywood in a studio apartment with a couple of cats. Like he has that. Okay. Look. <laughs> I, I, I imagine you'll be on Kevin's podcast. No, I'm just saying. Um, no, <laughs> I'm just it. saying. You know, I'm too liberal. I don't like. I don't follow the. You know, like I'm too busy working to get in on the nuances of everybody's personal life. Plus, at a certain point in my life, I was just totally self-absorbed, so I didn't really follow a lot of these, the dynamics of other people's dramas. In other words. If you didn't assault me with your day, I didn't know about your day. And I didn't take on the gossip and the crap. I just was like, you have a spot at 10.05. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I didn't. So all that stuff. Yeah, go figure. I was actually trying to work. Mm -hmm. Trying to work. And trying to whatever. Working anyway. Um, to five. What a way to make a living. So that's that. I'm trying to like, you know, stay out of, stay out of all the, like, like we're not talking politics. So I'm not going to do that. Um. I am going to talk about the Dubliner. The Dubliner. Uh, every Wednesday, the Dubliner Sunshine State Comedy is there. We're still doing that. Florida's booming, as you know, and another yes. state is booming. Yep. Austin, yep. Texas. Oh. Texas. I think they should change. It's like ever since Rogan moved there, like all the comics are like gluing themselves because like he's opening a fucking comedy club. You know, he's the fucking, he's the, the Howard Stern of the podcast. Like he's like the king. And it's like all these other comics are going out there because they all work with Red Band and shit. So it's like the comedy store is moving to Texas almost. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Like all these comics. And I'm like, they need to change the name of Austin, Texas to Rogan, Texas. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, it's, hilarious. Like it. it's hilarious. It's like everybody's going to Austin because of freedom. Because we're going to have freedom. Like just freedom and freedom. freedom. So, but you know, good for them. And I love Rogan and I love all the guys that moved out there. And that's awesome. Rogan's club is going to kill it just because, you know, it's Joe Rogan. Because it will, everybody will go there. Everybody will yeah, go there and, and book yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. And, like and you, New York is, you go ahead. Reop yeah. New York is reopening Friday. Yep. You know, and you're working. Yes. I'm working Friday with, with Janice Massetti. Can I just tell you how funny it is? I have, you know, Siri. I changed it to the mm. British bitch because I got sick of Siri's voice. And right. I love when I do, hey, Siri, will you, you know, call so-and-so? And I love that she mispronounced. She is so ethnically, completely <laughs> ignorant. She has no mm -hmm. accent, no, like, mm -hmm. she's no understanding of other cultures. And the way she mispronounces everybody's name makes me pee my pants. That's why I have the bitch. Oh, that's great. Right. Yeah. Janice. Yeah, I have the Australian guy. Janice Messett. <laughs> <laughs> Use that in a sentence. Hey, don't mess it up. Too bad, sweetie. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, that's great. Oh, no. fantastic. Yeah, I have the Australian guy. Oh, he does it too. There's like, um, my like, it's called Quayside, but he's always like, you know, uh, turn right on Key Keyside Avenue or whatever it is. Keyside doesn't say Quayside, he said Keyside, whatever. Yeah, Shane. I want him to be that guy, Shane. Yeah, you're gonna turn right on Keyside. Meh. 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 Yeah. Meh. Hey, meh. Call Teddy Smith. Yeah, hey, I'm calling Teddy Smith. See? Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah. 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 So that's so that is that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying not to get assaulted and to stay out of trouble this, this week. It's Monday. We're the new new. That's right. Um, I'm just trying to get a right, job so, with Cuomo uh, so I could get felt we don't have a, a couple of time. times. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Over your head and <laughs> under your blouse. <laughs> no, <Hey! did> <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know. Just shade me. I deserve it. Um, All right, it's freezing up, so it's great. It's frozen on you in a funny position that I'm dying laughing right now. We're not going to talk about. Okay. It's frozen, frozen on a auto. funny position. It it's fucking hysterical. No, you're not. It's great. Okay, now you're not. <laughs> All right. I hope which just leaves a frozen me in there. Uh, I don't care. I hope it was good. I hope it was really no. funny. It's frozen again. It was really funny. So uh oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Now it's frozen with the pen on your face. Yes. Frozen. Okay. Okay. Let me know. All right. Uh, Are we back? Kind of. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now you're kind of pixelated. Now you're starting to move. We're starting to roll. So uh, why don't we wrap this up since we're, we're going to wrap it up. Hour mark and uh, what you got going on? Well, All right. You... We got a bad letter. Oh, a really? Bad one this week. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. So, you know, sometimes you got to read the bad ones. It can't be just total favoritism here. Right. Oh, I so love quick. the bad ones. Okay, so uh, I'll just say this gentleman is from Louisiana. I, already hate, <laughs> I hate him already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, please and please uh, figure out what he means by what I'm saying here. Okay. Uh, dear Gina and Christy, just want to say you both suck. Dear Gina, what 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 background is he? I got to know the so shitty. Louisi- Louis- Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. Dear Jane yeah. and Christy, dear Miss Gina and Miss Christy, you suck my cock. You f- like see, I'm turning into. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's start over. Start over. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, let me get my He's southern from... drawl. Gotta get, get my southern drawl. Yeah, just get it going. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you. Well, go. all right now. All right, okay. Gina and Christy, Gina and Christy, I have my Schumers on. Good. Just want to say you both suck. Dear Miss Gina and Miss Christy, I just want to let y'all know you suck drier than a bag of shit. <laughs> you don't. You don't know what you're talking about, and you're both as old as dirt. You all are a bunch of freaking northern libtards. <laughs> And you're older than Blanche Devereaux's pussy. <laughs> That's a Golden Girls reference. <laughs> yeah, I got it. That I did get. That one didn't go over my head. Um, you're, you're both Democrat-loving concubines. Uh, I want to just tell you how he spelled concubines. Oh. C-O-N-C-K-Q-B-I-N-E-S. You're both Democratic-loving concubines kiss my ever loving ass Ezekiel y'all libtarded cock sucking binds columbine sucking Trump 2020 <laughs> all right that's been lunch money um <laughs> with the technical difficulties I can't yeah. wait to see my frozen face and oh, yeah. start a new week yep this is uh, the, the last part of the show is going to look just like the week's feeling already. So. <laughs> yeah. Try not to assault anyone with your day or your attitude or your own personal problems. And uh, that's my suggestion for the week. And uh, yeah. And if you're, <laughs> if you're in Boca, come to the Dubliner Wednesday night at eight o'clock for a free comedy show. Yes, and uh, this Wednesday at 9 o'clock on GovsRadio.com, the latest edition of Christy Unleashed. This week's special guest is a dear friend of mine. He does a lot of shows in drag. He does like a lot of murder mysteries all over the state of New York and New Jersey. And he also was one of the stars of The Real Housewives of Secaucus. Uh, Keith Doherty is, will be my guest and I think he's doing his, his uh, I, don't, I don't know what character he's bringing and I'm excited I told him don't tell me because I want to know because it's just going to be hilarious he's so funny so it's this Wednesday at 9 o'clock and uh, Tim Moss is back this next Friday for a hot mic but I won't be there because I will be at Broadway Comedy Club at 7.30pm with Janice Massetti 
and uh yeah so come on out seven okay one last thing yeah tell them about clubhouse oh yes uh clubhouse mm -hmm. we just started just miller and i have just started a room on clubhouse people get your asses on it's what all the kiddies are doing this thursday and every thursday at 4 p.m from four to five we will be doing the clam comedy jam the rawest balls out female comics will be on this show. Just tune in and talk with us and we'll be doing sets and bullshitting and having a good time. So come check out the clam comedy jam on clubhouse Thursday at four. No, I love it. I love it. Okay. That, that is a clear <laughs> sign that it's time to go. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. I love you next no. week. Hopefully none of this. Oh, I can't. I know. I know. I love you. Sponsors. This, been, this if we had sponsors, we we could have a real internet connection. Just saying. All right. Uh, to uh, stay tuned. Uh, we will be starting a Patreon soon, uh, with bonus content. So you're gonna want to subscribe, and help us out because we be po. This has been Lunch Money. I am Christy Miller. That's Vegeta Savage, and we'll see you next Monday. Deuces. <laughs>